hey what's up how are you doing welcome to our tutorial so in this section of the video here in our blog application we're going to be allowing um users that read our blog to be able to comment on our post now uh, before moving on i want to address the fact that um i said that you guys watch my video and you actually don't like the video please anytime you watch the video please make sure you hit that like button make sure you like the video so i said you're going to comment my video out there and please also comment if you have any question or just comment if, if there's anything so again to boost the algorithm because if you like i'm just doing this and nothing is actually happening so please guys just be sure to like the video and help me push up everything all right so without being said already let's just get started all right so the first we want to go ahead and do is as usual is i want to go ahead and have a model so we're going to do php as a sun make model so we're going to create a model so this whatever we're going to create here is going to be for our comments we're going to do comment model all right so we have to make our migration also and i have an error yes i keep forgetting this we have to see it into api then once done you can now go ahead and create our model and our migration file so in our model file here yeah, let's go ahead and open it up so this model file here yeah, what we need is um we have to do a protected fillable so our protected fillable here yeah, um sorry protected fillable what do we need we need to make use of uh we need to accept the user the, the name of the person that wants to comment um email address and also um, their comment so we're just going to call this comment and also i need the post id so as to get each comment by post id all right so once this is done now we can save this and next we can move to our migration file also migration for the first one to do here because we want to have a relationship is our big increment to this big increment here we are going to name this id sorry we're going to name this id then once that is done we're going to have table so table string table string of our name okay we can copy this so we can have um, email and comment so comment instead of it to be a string we can make it a a text all right so right after this one i want to go ahead and have post id so i can do table on sign big integer which is going to be post id all right so once that is done now we need to just set the relationship so we can go ahead and do table foreign so we want to use foreign key so our column so remember our column is post id that we created at the top they want to reference want to reference it on um want to reference id uh, on our posts uh database see on posts okay i believe our model name is posts i just need to check it let me delete this save uh, let's look out our model okay yes it is post as you can see so migration here is done so what we can just do is run php as a sun migrate php as a sun migrate and this will migrate our stuff for so now we can go ahead and run our server that is on sub all right so now let's go ahead and work on the controller all right so what i want to do is i want to close all this so that i can have a free space all right i want to go ahead and open my api app http i'm going to i'm going to make use of the post controller actually so this post controller here we're going to have a method so we're going to have a method dot comment so this comment here we're going to have an id so this id will be our post id so let's just let me let's let me very well so let's do post id so before the post id here i want to have request I also have request comma all right so once that is done now what i can basically go ahead and do is uh sorry what i can basically go ahead and do is remove this comment then i can go ahead and do request validate so once we have validation here so once it's validated remember the first thing we need is the name we just need to make it required all right and the email also email should be required and it should be a valid email address so i'm going to add it right after here all right should be a valid email address 
then um the last one will be um body is your body okay comment i mean okay good so once this is done already basically we could just we can just do comment equals to uh comment create so what do you want to create you want to create uh post id post id should be post id that we pass in our parameter we are going to have name name should be request name email should be request email and i'm comment also comment should be request comment all right request comment so what has it done now we can basically do if so if it's true i'll go ahead and do return the response we can do return response what response you want to return message message should be success s u c c e s s success should be true then uh once that is done already you can just come over here and do two or one okay so i'm just going to copy this for else i'm going to do else we're just going to have an error here. Error here that we can go ahead and have a. We can put 400 here. But, so, what is it done? Are we just in the URL? So, we're going to go to our API. That's PHP. We're going to copy the. We don't need them to. We don't need the person to be logged in because, yeah, we are just reading our post. So I'm going to select post. So, we're going to single post. Go to comment. We're going to pass in post ID. I post controller then want to go to comment okay save that so once this is done now we can go to our our thunder clients here i'm going to pull up my thunder clients here. i'm going to edit this so edit this is going to be post slash comment slash one let's try this we should send this we should have validation that says okay we have another that says post Right, let's take a look at what, um, the error we have. So we have post comments, then ID. Okay. Post comments ID. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the error is actually. Okay, let me see if I have any other server run, any other PHP server running. So just hold on. Yeah. So I have this one running. I have another project running. So I'm just going to close that. Then I'm going to head over back here. Now let's try and send this request again. Okay, we have an error again. Could not be found. So let's try. Let me check if I have another one run. Yep, I see have uh, another one running again. <laughs> yes, I have plenty instance running actually. So let's send this again. All right. So you can see the request is now being passed here. All right. So the same is not supported, but the request is going here. So what we need to do is change from this get to post request. All right then we can send this now see we have our validation our working so i'm just going to remove all this okay then we're going to have name i have my name we're going to have email at gmail.com we are going to have comment amazing okay so we can send this I you can see we have success now good so since this is done is done already the, one, the next one to do is last one to do is basically just fetch the comments so i just do get comments and again get comments is going to receive an id so we're going to receive post id and once that is done what you can do is comment is equals to comment um find post uh no, not find post that they actually so we are going to do a comment we post post id is equal to this post id 
So we're going to just do latest. We're going to do get. Alright, so we're going now going to do return response. So what else do you want to return? We're going to return comment is equals to comment. And we are going to give you a response of 200. Alright, do there's still some other thing we need to do. We need to do, but we'll, we'll see that very soon. So we just we'll going to copy that. I'm going to go to post. Remove this. And we're going to do comments. Comments. Remember, there's an S here. Now we're going to do post ID. And it's a get request. Post ID. Then our method name is get comments. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to add that right here. So save that. Now we're going to have comments slash one. I should go to get request and I send this. We shall have comment list now. Now, I want to get the posts that made the comments. So, to do that, what we are supposed to do is head over to our comments here. We can go ahead and have function. We can have posts. So, this function post here is going to be belong to. Yeah, so a comment belongs to a particular post. So, that's what we are going to do. Belong to, then we're going to do return this belongs to it belongs to what it belongs to a post select the class okay save that then our in our post we have to do as many so basically i can copy this so our post will have many comments so we're going to call this comments remember plural then we're going to select comments and we can have post id here good and um in our post controller here we can basically just have uh with okay with what with um comments where i use posts okay so let's save that and let's run this and you can see we have our posts here now so we have posts and we have our comments so the next is we are going to format this to look very cleaner so thanks for watching see you next time Peace.